Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Exolate on your Salesforce. On the left side of the screen you can see the uh, Exolate documentation and we will use that as our primary reference. On the right we have a Salesforce instance and I will walk you through step by step. So to start let's head to the App Exchange Marketplace. Search for Exolate and click on Get It Now. You are given the option to install it in a production or sandbox environment, so choose what fits your needs and let's go. Now select your account. In this example, we'll choose Install in Production. Next, a confirmation screen appears. Make sure to read and agree to the terms and conditions and confirm that you accept them. When done, click Confirm and Install. Now, for most users, the next step will redirect you to the Salesforce account login page. In this example, we are already logged in, so we can skip this step. We just need to validate the account. Once validated, you are directed to a user selection screen. And here we decide for which users we want to install the app. And this could range from all users or only admins. So uh, in this case, we'll proceed by installing it for all users. Now that uh, we've installed it, we need to grant third-party access and the documentation explains it in detail why um, this is required. Once uh, you do that, the app should be installed. Now let's uh, wait for confirmation and great! confirmation has come through and the installation is complete. We click done and go back to the documentation just to make sure we're on track. Now we've gone through these steps uh, but now we need to create um, a connected app. And uh, first uh, let's go to setup and then permission sets. Uh, we're already in setup so let's type in permission sets. And here you need to assign the correct permission to the Exolate admins. Then go to Manage Assignments. Then we can add an assignment by choosing a user with full access. And hit Done. And these steps are mentioned uh, clearly in the documentation. Now let's go to the App Manager and create a new connected app. Under Apps, go to the App Manager and hit the um, New Connected App button. You now need to fill out the details of the connected app, so let's fill them in. After doing that, you need to enable the OAuth settings. Uh, you copy this callback URL and paste it into the callback URL field out here. Then you need to select all the OAuth scopes. Uh, so let's see. The require secret for web server flow box is already checked. Um, require secret for refresh token flow is already checked. So just verify all these options and uh, hit save once you're done and hit continue next. Once you're done, go back to the list and go to your app manager and look for the app we just created. Select the Exolate app, uh, click view from the drop down. You now need the consumer key and consumer secret. For that, uh, click Manage Consumer Details. It will ask you for a, a verification code, which I am pasting in here. Once you put it in, it should show you the consumer key and the consumer secret that have been generated. So let's uh, leave this window open since we'll need it later on. This is important. So next step is to request an Exolate note and proceed from there. So let's go back to the search bar and search up Exolate uh, to see what happens. And this is where I need the consumer key and secret. And that's why I kept this page open. So copy the key and plug it in. 
Repeat the same for the consumer secret. And this should allow you to request an exhalate node. So once we put in the consumer key and secret, we should grant permissions to the app. So let's click allow at the bottom. This will now ask you to provide some registration details, after which you'll get an email confirmation. And that will be it. I'll just quickly provide my details and let's click agree and submit. Now it will send you a verification email. Once you verify it, you can accept the EULA and basically get into your instance. If you look at the docs, this is how the email looks like. Once you get the email, just verify it. This will bring you straight into your instance and you should automatically have an evaluation license for 30 days. And that's how you install Exalate on Salesforce. I hope this was useful for you guys and we'll see you in another one.